Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Salami, and today we are checking out Dead Space. No, 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 not that Dead Space. The remake. Wait, no, I don't even own that. No, I'm talking about the D make for Steam Deck. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna go through how to install the Dead Space D-Make and uh, show off a little bit of gameplay. Um, this doesn't work natively on Steam Deck. Of course, you've got to set it up. Uh, the setup's pretty easy, but I thought I might as well go through it for you guys if you're interested. Uh, and I will put the link to where to download this from in the description, and you guys can have some fun with this little D-Make of Dead Space, which I think is really cool. Okay, so first thing you do is download it, of course. I've already downloaded it and unzipped it. That's as much as I've done here, I just for the sake of making this easy. Here's the zip file, and here's the unzipped one. Um, so or you, you can delete the zipped one when you're done, and uh, you're good to go. So once you've done that, all you want to do is you want to quit out of here. Hey guys, welcome back. So once you've downloaded and unzipped your copy of uh, Dead Space, you can do a few things with it. You can make your own folder and put all your downloaded games there. You could put them, leave them in the downloads folder, into a documents folder. Uh, you know, you could do what you like. For me personally, I like to put all my Steam games, like if I'm running it through Steam, I like to put it in the Steam library. Um, it's really awkward to get there, I've found on, uh, on deck but so an easy way to get to where you need to go is you go into steam you probably know this if you have owned a steam deck like this isn't probably worthwhile so you can always you know zip past this if it's unnecessary and all you can all you need to do is like click on a game and then go manage and then um, browse local files and what this will do is it'll take you to the steam like line and then what you want to do is you just want to go back to common okay so this is where all the games on steam are being stored so what you want to do here is just copy this um you want to copy this line so the way i did it is i just go into something like new world here and i go properties and then i just copy this location um this might seem like a bit much and like i say this is all uh if you really want it to be in this folder. Again, you, you don't need this, and it's only a little D-make that's 15 minutes long, um, but, you know, me being me, I make everything awkward and difficult. Uh, so once you've done that, you want to go into Looptris. Uh, this app is, seems to be, like, my go-to, apart from Steam Deck, uh, Steam uh, Gaming itself. Um, and if you know a better way of installing games like this, please let me know, and... Um, It'd be really great. So from there, what you want to do is you want to go into Plus, uh, and you want to install from a local script. Uh, no, sorry, you want to add a locally installed game. You want to name it. So we'll just call it Dead Space because uh, we can. I mean, you could call it Dead Space um, D Make as well. D Make. Why not? Let's go the full 10 yards, shall we? Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna do that, and then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to options, actually, sorry, you need to pick a runner. So for this, you wanna go wine, and then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to game options, and you wanna pick the executable. Now, what this means is that, you know, it needs the executable. So the way I would do it is you wanna put the dead space file in here, right? Okay, so you, what you want to do is you want to go back to your downloads and you want to copy and paste this into this common. Uh, you make a copy here and then you could always, see I've already done it, but we'll just, uh, we'll just cancel, we'll just, uh, yeah, I think, I think I've already done it. So we can just cancel that. So it should already be in here. So let's have a look. See, there it is there. So what you want to do is back in here, once you've copied it in, is you want to just paste you want to browse, um, and then all I did was I clicked here, and then I pasted that line, right, and it takes us here. Then you want to go into your Dead Space DMake, and you want to pick the Dead Space Executable. Okay. And then you just want to save this. And then what you want to do from here is you just want to go play. Now, you could play it from here, but... Um, 
I find it doesn't really, it, you don't get controller support from doing it from there. So I find it's better to do it from within gaming mode and we'll meet you back there. Before I forget, uh, you do want to add this to your Steam library. So you want to just right click on it and you want to go uh, create a desktop shortcut. That's what I do. You can do it. There's one that says complete in Steam, but uh, so you could do it either way. And then from there, you can go add to Steam. I'm not going to worry about here adding pictures and banners. Um, if you do want to see how to do that, um, please look at my League of Legends uh, video, and that sh explains in the second half how to add banners and logos. Okay, and then from there, you can go back to gaming mode, um, and we're on the home straight, and we'll see you back there. Welcome back. Thank you for jumping in. Um, I really appreciate it. So from here, what you want to do is you want to push your Steam button, go to your library, and then non-Steam. There it is, Dead Space Demake, and you can just click play, and it should just load up straight from here without any issues. Um, and But you, the reason you want to do it from within the Steam uh, game mode is it enables controller support. If you do it from Litris or the desktop, uh, it thinks it's a keyboard and mouse, and you and you're not in. You're not going to have a very good time. Um, and you can see there we go. And controller support works. We can start, and it starts loading up. Uh, and I I've put about five minutes into this, and then I was like, I gotta make a video. This is really cool. Um, and let's get into it. I'll give it a little bit of sound. You can see the frame rate is massive. Ah, and I think this is just really cool. A PS1 D make of Dead Space. I think it is just absolutely hilarious in all the right ways. You can flip it like in normally in Dead Space. I mean, this is just so cool, right? I love it. Listen to it. Oh, he's he's stuck in the door. I've I've worked out how to win the game, boys. There we go. We got it. And so this is Dead Space Steam Mate working on a Steam Deck. Um, of course it should work, but and in my initially I had a little bit of trouble getting this up and running. So it does require, you know. Just a moment of, uh, not thought, but, you know, a couple of steps. But if you know how to make this work without having to go through uh, some of the steps that I've done, please let me know. Now, there's going to be a cutscene up ahead that goes on for quite a while. So, uh, before that load goes in there, I just want to say thanks again for jumping in here and let me know what you think of this D-Make and would you love a full game of this? Me, personally, I think it's freaking awesome and I could totally go for a full remake of uh, D-Make of Dead Space. Uh, it makes me really want to make my own video game. Um, it, like, in this kind of style. No one would like it but me, but hey... That's the price we pay for being weirdos, right? Uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, guys. See you later.